Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something brand new and really exciting for .NET developers, Microsoft Agent Framework. This preview release brings AI and .NET to the next level. And in this video, we'll build a translator that converts English to French and Spanish, reviews the results, and produces a final summary report using multiple AI agents working together. If you haven't watched my first AI video in .NET, make sure to check that out. I'll drop the link in the description below. All right, let's start with agents. An agent is basically an AI-powered worker that can think, decide, and act to achieve a goal. You can think of it like a digital teammate. It has a specific job, its own personality, and it knows how to use tools or APIs if needed. According to Microsoft, an agent is not just a prompt and response system. It can reason, plan, call APIs, use memory, and even collaborate with other agents. Next, let's talk about workflows. A workflow simply defines how agents connect and work together to finish a task. Think of it like a flowchart. First translate, then review, then summarize. It can run sequentially or in parallel, depending on what you need. Workflows give structure and control, turning random AI responses into a reliable, repeatable process. Now here's where the magic happens. Agents bring intelligence. They understand context, reason, and generate output. Workflows bring structure. They decide the order, dependencies, and branching. Combine both, and you get a team of cooperating AI agents that can achieve something much larger than any single model call. For example, one agent translates text, another reviews it, and another summarizes it, all coordinated by a workflow you define. It's like turning LLMs into a well-organized software system, not just a chatbot. Now let's talk about the star of today's video, Microsoft Agent Framework. It's Microsoft's new open source SDK, still in preview, that brings agents, workflows, tools, and memory together into one framework for .NET and Python. It's built on ideas from Semantic Kernel and Autogen, but redesigned to make building multi-agent systems simple and scalable. With this, you can easily create agents, connect them through type-safe workflows, integrate Azure OpenAI or local models, and even run steps in parallel or with human checkpoints. All right, let's make this real. We're going to build a sequential translator workflow using four agents. French translator agent converts English to French. Spanish translator agent converts English to Spanish. Quality reviewer agent checks both translations for tone and accuracy. And summary agent combines everything into a final report. It's a simple example, but it shows exactly how multiple agents can collaborate. I've already created a .NET 9 console app. And first, I'll clean up the program.cs file. Next, I'm going to install the Microsoft Agent Framework packages into our project. So, I'll head over to the NuGet Package Manager. In the search bar, I'll type Microsoft Agent AI, and you'll see the package listed there. It's still in preview. So go ahead and install it. Next, search for Microsoft Agents.ai Workflows. And once it appears in the list, go ahead and install it as well. This package helps us build and connect multiple agents together using workflows. Next, search for Microsoft extensions.ai.openai and install it as well. Okay, now we've installed all the required packages and you can see all of them listed under the dependencies section in our project. So we're all set to start implementing our agents and workflow next. All right, first I'm going to add the chat client. This is what allows our agents to communicate with the model. Here, I'm using the GitHub model and the model name is GPT-40 Mini a lightweight but really powerful version that works great for these kinds of demos. To access it, we need a GitHub API key. In my previous video, I showed how to create API keys for these models. So if you haven't watched that yet, I'll drop the link in the description below. This basically connects our application to the GitHub hosted OpenAI model, so we can start building agents on top of it. Next, we're going to add our first agent, the French translator. This agent will use the same chat client we just created and its only job is to take English text and translate it into French. So here, I'm creating an instance of AI agent using chat client agent and called it as French agent. It connects directly to the chat client we built earlier, and it knows exactly what role it plays inside our workflow. Next, inside the options, we set the name as French agent.
In instructions, we describe what this agent should do. Translate any provided text into French, keeping it natural and accurate. Once that's done, our first agent is ready to go. Now, instead of writing everything again, I'll just copy the French agent code and make a few small changes to create our Spanish agent. So here, I'll rename the variable to Spanish agent and update the name property as Spanish agent. Then, I'll slightly change the instructions to You are a translation assistant that translates the provided text to Spanish. That's it. Now we have two agents. One that translates English to French and another that translates to Spanish. Now, I'll do the same thing again. I'll copy the Spanish agent code and make a few quick changes to create our quality reviewer agent. So I'll rename the variable to quality reviewer agent. Update the name to quality reviewer agent. All right, now I'm going to define the quality reviewer agent instructions separately, just to keep the code cleaner and easier to maintain. I'll create a string called quality reviewer agent instructions. And here, I'll describe exactly what this agent should do. And here, for the instructions, I'm assigning the variable quality reviewer agent instructions. So this agent now knows it's responsible for reviewing translations and providing quality feedback with a simple rating system. Now I'll do the same thing again. I'll copy the quality reviewer agent code and make a few small changes to create our summary agent. I'll rename the variable to summary agent. Update the name property to summary agent. Just like before, I'm going to keep things clean. So I'll define the summary agent instructions separately first. I'll create a new string called summary agent instructions. Change the instruction. This prompt explains exactly what the summary agent should do. It combines all translation reviews into one final readable report. And that's it. Our summary agent is ready. All right. Now it's time to connect all of our agents together using a workflow. So here, I'm creating a new AI agent called Workflow Agent. We're using the Agent Workflow Builder class and calling Build Sequential, which means all these agents will run one after another. First the French translator, then Spanish, then the reviewer, and finally the summary agent. At the end, we call as Agent Async, which basically turns this entire chain into a single agent that we can now interact with. Build sequential method tells the framework to run each agent one after another. So once the French translation is done, it passes that result to the Spanish agent, then to the reviewer, and finally to the summary agent. All right, now we've successfully built our workflow agent, and this combines all four of our agents into one connected pipeline. From now on, we don't need to call each agent separately. We can simply talk to the workflow agent, and it will automatically pass the message through the French, Spanish, reviewer, and summary agents in order. Next, let's send a sample English sentence to this workflow and see how the entire process runs step by step. Before we move on, I just noticed that in the summary agent setup, the instructions property should be assigned to summary agent instructions, not quality reviewer agent instructions. All right, now it's correct. All right, now I'm going to add a simple way to get user input and pass it to our workflow agent. First, we prompt the user to enter some text. That'll be our English sentence. Then we pass it workflow agent, and that sends the text through the entire pipeline. French translator, Spanish translator, reviewer, summary agent. Now, I'll pass the user input to the workflow agent.runAsync method. This is the key part. When we call workflow agent.runAsync user input, it sends the text through the entire workflow pipeline we built earlier. So behind the scenes, it goes step by step through each agent. First the French translator, then the Spanish translator, after that the quality reviewer, and finally the summary agent. Each one processes the result and passes it to the next. And when it's done, we'll get a complete response object, which includes all the messages generated during the workflow. Next, I'll print the agent name and the output from each step in the workflow. For each message, I'll first print the agent's name. Here. I'll set the console color to yellow, so we can clearly see the agent name printed before each output. Next, I'll set the console color to green, and then print the agent's output text right below the name. This way, the name appears in yellow, and the actual translation or summary text shows up in green. All right, 
Now let's run the application and see everything in action. So here in the console, it's asking for input. I'll type something hello world and press enter. Now you can see the output. First, our French agent translates the text into French. Then the Spanish agent does the same for Spanish. After that, the quality reviewer agent checks both translations, for tone, grammar, and cultural accuracy. And finally, the summary agent generates a short report, showing the overall translation quality. Notice how each agent's name appears in yellow, and their outputs in green. That helps us easily follow each step in the sequence. Let's try again. All right, now I'm going to try a different message, just to see how the agents handle new text. Now again, you'll see each agent doing its job one by one. The French agent translating first, then the Spanish agent, followed by the quality reviewer, and finally the summary agent producing the overall report. Every time we type a new sentence, the entire workflow runs automatically, showing how these agents collaborate step by step. We've just built a complete multi-language translator workflow using the Microsoft Agent Framework. We created four agents, a French translator, Spanish translator, quality reviewer, and summary agent, and connected them together in a sequential workflow. Each agent focused on a single task, and the framework handled all the coordination between them, from translation to review, and finally to the summary report. This example shows how easily we can design structured, collaborative AI systems right inside .NET. You can extend this workflow to support more languages, add custom reviewer steps, or even integrate external APIs for richer translation capabilities. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the upcoming videos where we'll explore even more AI-powered workflows in .NET. Happy coding!